and welcome to our RV preventive maintenance video series. I talk about inspecting and maintaining RV roof sealants all the time, but there are other sealants on the RV that are important too. Anywhere the RV manufacturer cuts an opening in the sidewall of the RV has the potential to leak. Nothing will hurt the value of your RV more than water damage. Today we'll look at some easy preventive maintenance steps that will stop water leaks before they can start. If you look at the sides, back, and front of your RV, you will see where lots of components are installed in an opening that was cut into the RV sidewall. When the manufacturer or a technician installs a component like the water heater or a window, some type of seal or butyl tape is used to help prevent water from damaging the RV. For an added measure of prevention, the installer runs a bead of silicone above and slightly around the corners of the component they installed. Inspecting all of these seals and sealants and taking corrective action when you discover a problem can prevent water damage on your RV. Inspecting and resealing this simple bead of silicone helps repel water and prevents leaks where it's most likely to happen. The question is, when was the last time you got a ladder and inspected these seals and sealants? Chances are you weren't even aware of this, so why would you inspect it, right? Now that you know about it, you can add these checks to your preventive maintenance schedule. You can inspect some seals and sealants without a ladder, and others will require a ladder. When you inspect the seals and sealants, look to make sure there are no cracks or separations that would allow water to get in and that the sealant adheres to the surfaces it is sealing. If any of the sealant is loose or separating from the surface, you can remove it prior to resealing the area. Apply more sealant over any cracks you find in the old sealant and anywhere you remove the old sealant. A silicone sealant can be used on fiberglass and aluminum siding, but never use any petroleum-based product on rubber roofing. If you discover any bad seals, they need to be replaced too. If you want to tackle the project yourself, go to our RV Education 101 YouTube channel and search for our RV Sun Damage Repair video to see how it's done. These are easy preventive maintenance checks to make and fix if you discover any problems. I recommend doing this inspection twice a year and especially in the fall if you store your RV outdoors where it's exposed to the elements. To learn more about using and maintaining your RV, check out our RV training videos and ebooks at rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping!